Well, I will say happy Friday, although I don't know how long this camera is going to last. I thought it was fully charged, came to use it to make a video and it wasn't. So it'll probably go on me at any time. So anyway, what am I up to? Well, I'm still not right. I have managed to go to Knit Club on Wednesday, although, you know, my stomach was still off colour. And I did go out to Affinity to do a little bit of shopping yesterday. And I got myself a new pair of slippers. Yes, I know I bought a pair the other week. But I cannot wear walking floppy slippers. I have to have a very firm base. Otherwise, I'm wobbling all over the place. Right, I'm crocheting a bit more. I've done with the two fronts. And I'm now on the back. I've never started with fronts before. I've always started with the back, but that's what the pattern said. So that's what Jabba did, yeah. I have finished off the cardigan, although I'm not happy with it. I didn't put the collar on correctly, as far as I'm concerned, and it's very drab and dreary, isn't it? It's just not me. Anyway, what am I wearing? I've got a new dress, actually. It's from eBay, but it's new. It's not second hand for a change. Um... There we are. The only thing I will say is the belt loops are here. Under the bust. Why do we think I want to wear a belt under my bust? I don't know. Anyway, this is it. It's very, very flimsy. Very, very thin. So I'm wearing it with another dress underneath it to keep me warm. And I would wear it with the, the same white cardigan that I normally wear. That's what I will wear it because in the evening it's dropping really cold. I don't know about the 1st of September, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's more like midwinter when it gets to the evening time. Anyway, what have I got to show you today? Well, a couple of things. If you remember the Bollywood jewellery I bought, I knew I wouldn't wear it. It was very nice, very pretty, very glittery, and I knew I wouldn't wear it. So I sent it down to my friend B Roberts, and she has done a video, and I'll put the link underneath here. Um, showing off some of it already. I knew that she would wear it because it's more her style. So there was no point hanging on to something I wouldn't wear. Anyway, she kindly, unexpectedly, surprisingly, sent me one of her paintings, her original paintings. I wasn't sure if this was the right way up, so I asked her, and she said that it didn't matter. You could, whichever way you interpreted it, you could hang it whichever way. So, but I think I choose that way because that reminds me of like a tree and that reminds me of a heart. So I think that's the way I will hang it, yeah. Anyway, I will put a link. It says yellow cave on it, so that's what she's, cre she's called it, but to me that's more of a heart shape. Maybe it's just my interpretation, but art is all about interpretation, isn't it? Yeah. So as I say, I will put a link underneath to her channel because she's got some lovely paintings for sale. If you like the more modern type of art, yeah, you know you're not the chocolate boxy type of person. Anyway, what I got for myself this week was it's timeless Noro crochet, yeah, and I do hope that the camera doesn't cut out before I manage to show it to you. If not, I'll have to do another video at another time. I love Noro, but it's too expensive, so I don't usually use it. I use the Boho Spirit instead, which is similar, but a heck of a lot cheaper. Yeah. Sorry, Noro. But we have to do things according to our pockets, don't we? This one is a reversible cowl. I don't know quite how it's reversible. It doesn't show you the other side, I don't think. You'd have to make it, wouldn't you, to find out. This one is called Lotus. Very elaborate sweater. I would have to put cuffs on it if I made it. But I'm not too sure about the circles over the bust. You know, does it draw attention to your boobs or what? You know... They, see, they sort of land straight on the bus line, don't they? Is that just me? 
This one is called trapezoidal shawl. Very posh, trapezoidal shawl. What do you say it, let alone pronounce it? Sorry for making my fingers, but my finger ends are dead. I can't turn pages. Shoreline mitts. These are nice, aren't they? I hope you can see it. I hope the light's not bouncing off it. Shoreline mitts. Crochet wave poncho. It's got a very unusual neckline for a poncho. Very unusual neckline. That's a close-up of it. It's not a normal, normal neckline, is it? We have got Big Granny Afghan. Well, the only thing they can say about that is a nice wool. <laughs> It's a granny afghan, we've all seen them, haven't we? This is very pretty. It's a lacy capelet. It actually looks more like a, a short, a puncture would be, you know, showing the puncture. Very pretty though. It's done in the, um, well, I call it the pineapple stitch. I think there's a better picture, if I remember rightly. Gosh, a lot of instructions. Yeah, there's a close-up picture of it. It's the pineapple stitch, isn't it? I wouldn't call it a poncho. I'd call it more of a capelet or a shawly bit, yeah. Crochet dress. Very nice and bright if you like a short dress. I'd have to wear that more of a tunic, you know, wear it over trousers or very, very thick tights or, you know, thick leggings. I don't wear leggings as a rule. I only wear them as another layer. I think ladies of a certain age should cover up a bit. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, don't like to see leggings worn with a very short top. Not a pretty look. Unless, of course, you're about 12 and you've got a nice figure. But I think ladies of a certain size and a certain age, cover up, dear. Right, flower pillow covers. Uh, chrysanthemum shawl, quite white, white it's chrysanthemum, it's just like a circle, really. Circles joined together. Pacifica poncho. Again, it's more of an overtop, really, isn't it, than a poncho, don't you think? Or is it me? More of an overtop? Unless it's not sewn up at the sides. Crochet jacket. This is a bit strange the way they make it. It looks okay, but I'm a bit dubious about kind of the way they make it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's not very... The only thing I've got against this book is they don't print it very bright. My eyesight's not very good. And pale grey printing is not what I can read very well. That's the back view of it. It looks a strange shape, you know, when you look at the, uh, what do they call it, schematic stuff. Here we have shifting shells. That's a scarf. Well, a wide scarf, isn't it? Yeah. Shifting shells. This I do like. I don't know whether I would ever wear it, but it's called Win. W Y double N. Oh, Winnie, sorry. W Y N N I E. I do like that. Whether I would ever make it, whether I would ever wear it, is another matter, but I do like it. That is me, unlike that cardigan at the background there. That is not me. That would be worn in bed or something like that. If I'm wearing drab, I feel drab. I really do feel. Um, what I'm wearing influences me how I feel. Today I feel like a wrung out dish rag, as my mother would say. So in order to cheer myself up, I thought put something bright on. Try and help yourself. I mean, yesterday I was wearing black and I felt miserable all day. Um, bobbled hat. That's a nice hat. 
that's the top of the crown view. This one is very, very pretty. It's called Spring Woodlands. I don't know quite how they make it, but it's very, very pretty. You know how they do the sort of chevron shaping? It's very pretty. Altogether, this is quite a nice book, actually. You know, when you buy a book normally and you pay about £15, £16 pound for it and there's about two things in it you like. This one is Spiral Shawl. I would call it more of a scarf, actually. It's a very narrow one, but isn't it pretty? It's got the zigzaggy edging on it. I think that's very decorative. As I say, I've got a lot of broken spirit in the shed, so, you know, hey, oh, I may be using it. This is one of my particular favourites. It's very decorative. It's not very warm, but isn't it pretty? That is me. I think there's a picture of it with it sort of spread out the back room. Oh, it's got the tassels. Yeah, that's the one. That is me. Not the colour, but that is me. I would wear that. I think that is superb. Yeah. As I say, not the colour. Beige is for when you die. Yeah. <laughs> Nesting bowls. I can never make these stand up. My tension must be completely off because they're always floppy whenever I make them. I was watching Crochet Rocks today and she's bought some things from the dreaded tea place and she's got some like wooden bases, you know, to make baskets with. I've got some, not wooden, um, like leatherette, which I've never used as yet. You know, you have these bright ideas, you've got to buy these. Or you're going to make baskets and that. I haven't made one. Well, I made one, but it flops over. Turquoise topper. I don't know quite whether it's a sweater or what the heck it is. Not sure about that one. It's not on my favourites list. It's a bit sort of wide and baggy. I think when you're a larger lady like I am, wide and baggy doesn't do you any favours. You know, you're better off with something a wee bit more fitted. Yes, it shows off your figure, but it doesn't make you look any bigger than what you are. Big ladies who hide under big things make themselves look even bigger. They look like little, I don't know, walking on barrels, you know. Colonel's hat. That's Colonel as in like Colonel, not Colonel, not Colonel as in the army. Yeah, I've got a thing against floppy things, yeah. Now this one says crochet vest, but it's a very wide, baggy vest, if it's a vest. Almost looks shawl-like, doesn't it? There is a back view of it, but it is a vest, but it's very floppy. You know, I'd have to make a smaller size, make it more fitting. This again is pretty, but it's broomstick lace, and I'm not a lover of doing broomstick lace. It may look pretty. Not saying it doesn't. This looks especially pretty. I can't really. I don't let's be tension or what, but I'm not very successful with broomstick crochet. Tunisian crochet is something I want to get to grips with, but I mean they do give you a little sort of how to bit there. I have tried it, but I can't say I like the way that the strands lie when I do it. I do it wrong. Probably. Patchwork Garden. Now, while I like patchwork, I don't know whether it's the quilt. Oh, this one, sorry, there's a, a granny quilt afghan which you've done in. Oh, a bit wrong way. Done in like triangles. For those of you who like doing an afghan or a blanket or whatever. Patchwork Garden. Now, I don't like this. I think it's the colours that put me. I don't like the colours. I think the squares are a bit big as well, actually. You know, it's just... It's just a bit big, the squares, for me. That's just a personal opinion, though. But, I think we're at the end now. Let me have a look if there's any more. Any more for any more. Yeah, we're at the end. 
But by and large, I mean, I think it cost me about 15 or 16 pounds. Yeah, 15.99. But there are quite a few nice things in it that you would kind of use, you know. Normally, you, you, you sort of get a book, don't you? And you like two things out of it and you think, I'll never make anything out of that. That's the end of that, yeah. Well, that's about it, all I've got to show you. Hopefully it stayed on the camera and hasn't vanished without a trace. I think there's something wrong with the lead, you know, that charges up the camera. I think there's something wrong with that. I think, you know, when you use them a certain length of time, they get a bit loose, don't they, and they don't charge up properly. So we shall see what we shall see. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day. I was going to go down to Cleveland's and do a bit of charity shopping. But I got up late and I wasn't feeling myself and I thought, well, have a shower, you liven yourself up, have a little bit of breakfast, you'll feel better. But I really didn't, yeah. I got some kind of a stomachy bug. I mean, I was watching Denise Deer from Deer Designs and she, would, she and her husband had both had like stomachy bug things, yeah. There's something going around, I don't know what it is. I mean, I stopped feeling, well, I won't say I stopped feeling sick, I, I, I feel nauseous. When I eat anything, I feel nauseous. I mean, we went out for a lovely lunch at Katie's in Affinity in Cleveland. Is it Cleveland? It's not a sweet one. And um, it was lovely. It was prawns and lovely brown bread and everything and the lovely salad that came with it. I'm sad to say I had to pick a tea, you know, I ate the prawns and I ate the bread. But all the salady stuff, I just had to pick at it. I didn't really want it, you know. This is how I've been. I made myself some fish last night. It was fish in a Mornay sauce. And I had to leave half of it. I couldn't eat it. And this morning, I've just had scrambled eggs on toast. Ali only ate one of the toasts with the scrambled egg on it. I couldn't eat the other bit. It's good for the figure. <laughs> but... You know, the weight I've lost would kind of come straight back on, I know it will, because it's just the wrong kind of way to lose weight into by not eating, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go now before um, <laughs> the camera cuts out on me and get it uploaded. So I shall say bye for now and hopefully I might see you tomorrow. You never know you're looking up for. Bye for now.